hey guys good evening welcome to my channel or should i say good morning because right now i think the time is about oh it's one minute past 12 so we have officially entered the new month of may so let me just use the opportunity to say happy new month everybody and first of may is my birthday so happy birthday to me i just turned uh 24 so i'm 24 years old now so happy birthday to me happy birthday to me happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday to me so yeah basically it's a new month this is the fifth month of the year so that means we've officially entered the second quarter of the year so uh, it's a new month it's a brand new month so basically since it's a new month there's something i've been i'd plan to do at the end of every month which is like a sort of personal retreat but i've not been able to really like implement it the way i wanted to do it like take some time off you know spend with god and all that but uh i'm trying my best to you know make time for such things like because i think i believe it's important for example i want to be able to review um my finances how did i spend my money did i spend well what did i spend too much money on because i know i've not exactly been managing my finances properly so that is one area i want to focus on then my spiritual life the goals i had on myself this year that i said i was going to spend more time with god be more consistent in prayer and bible study that side has not exactly been going smoothly yet so you know this kind of time is the best time to like review and see okay what went wrong what happened to that fire and that vision i came with why did things not go so well why did i spend too much money why couldn't i stick to a budget you know that kind of a thing now and also it's also to reflect on like the goals i have for my life towards myself you know like how far how things going <laughs> so yeah basically that's it so 24 the air certainly smells different when you don't 24 <laughs> oh it's interesting now i was telling a friend of mine that though i have turned 24 i don't actually feel there are days i forget that i'm considered an adult now like not just a young adult like that anymore like a 24 girl it feels different some days i still feel like i'm 19 in terms of how beautiful like can be but then some days it hits me like oh my god i'm not considered an adult you get like wow amazing <laughs> so uh so basically what i'm going to be doing tonight is i'm not doing too much uh because i also need to go and pray but uh since it's a new month i uh, wanted to make a plan for this week because uh, this week is our uh life in the spirit life in the spirit basically it's a one week period of fasting and praying that we do in the church so i'm quite happy that you know like it started from the my birthday because i was planning already fasting today so since it started today which is the first of may which is a monday and it's a public holiday so i think it's perfect so i'm just going to make a quick plan as well i want my day to go by i like planning but the only issue i have is that most times i don't follow through with the plans i never used to be like this so like when i was younger i used to plan a lot and i would stick to the plans you get but then i came to understand that i should get older your personality changes due to situation or some you know sort of outer influence or so so i guess it changed but i'm trying to be more disciplined you get so for me i like writing things down i like to see like a plan a schedule to follow so that one so that i don't forget and two so that i can see you know what i'm doing exactly where i'm heading so i have some goals and things i want to do for this week especially starting from today so i'm just going to make a list of the things i want to do so uh here i printed out a uh some sort of like a checklist you can't really see it because let me see if i can show you it's a checklist nothing serious i just went on uh pinterest and just printed something out basically i could have designed my own on canva right but based on how rushed i was at that time i didn't design mine or in the future if i do stick to using it i will you know uh design my own on canva canva is a nice app by the way i like it very much so this get us what to do so for now what am i doing yes so let's get started so first i'm just going to uh i'm gonna make a list of like the things i want to do basically that's it mm, so i have like a calendar for me which i printed out so i'm just going to mark it with like important dates and things i want to do so i was actually trying to buy a calendar but i was like there's no point in buying it. i can just print out one from the internet <laughs> So 
so uh this is my jotto here yeah, i like to make my daily plan i don't really stick to it but you know it's a new month second quarter of the year we are doing things because you know like i say you cannot do things the same way you did them before and expect different results last year was not a bad year for me but i believe it could have been a much better year which is what i'm aiming for this year i want a year that is better than the previous years of my life so i'm very much aware that i need to do new things so basically that's it i just uh finished with my uh calendar for at least the first one week of this month because i have a a canar coming up canada is like henna night for a turkish wedding for one of my colleagues from work coming up so i'll be going there on the 2nd of may in the evening and then all through this week we have live in the spirit which means uh, we're going to go to the church for one hour to pray together in the evenings and then on saturday is workers retreat and also my first uh, private legal lesson so basically i have a lot going on this week so now that i've mapped it out on a calendar i feel better i can see each and every single one and the chances of me forgetting anyone and not being prepared enough for anyone is minimal and zero at this point and then next up for my checklist for daily checklist i did it for just one week for the first uh, week of may basically everything i the things i want to do which is mostly a uh, spiritual and uh, mental development stuff i just want to spend this time and do a uh what do they call it a movie detox because in fact this past month of april i've been watching a lot of korean series so i'm just going to take this one week to like detox spend time with god you know get back into like um uh, a proper routine spend more times in more time in prayer you know because this life is spiritual so basically that's it so i'm gonna uh, leave you guys now i will see you later bye so right now it's back to work for me because uh, as you know which i mentioned before in some of my other videos uh, aside from modeling i also teach english part-time so today was one of the days where i had to you know do lessons with the kids and specifically this week we'll learn about sky and space so we had a lot of uh, art and craft work to do so here i'm just finishing up the kids uh, replica of space because the paint is not one we can allow children to handle themselves so that's why i'm doing it myself so each person has already specified how they want their stars to be drawn on it and then i'm just doing that so uh, I have to do this with all the classes, the younger kids had something different. So I'm going to finish up here, check the one for the younger classes, make sure it's done properly, ask the kids where they would like me to write their name on it, and then leave it to dry. So basically that's it. Some of my classes are running a bit late today because you know when you're working with children, your schedule does not always go as you plan because some kids are just, they just kind of slow you down. They're not as fast as you imagine they will be in your head. Despite this, I still enjoy working with kids very much. You know, I find it very rewarding when you spend time trying to teach them something and then they finally get it. The feeling is like unexplainable. It's lovely. So I really love children. They're very innocent and they're just sweet to be around. Hey, so I finished and right now I'm on my way home, just walking home, walking to the bus stop rather, so I can get the bus home. I'm very tired. I finished later than usual because uh, normally today I was supposed to have a speaking lesson with uh, there's this uh, guy I have private speaking lessons with, but he cancelled today because he's not feeling too well. So usually I should have left the school like one hour earlier, an hour earlier. Yes, because about three thirty. But uh, today was a Friday, so we're wrapping up uh, space and sky that we we're learning. So I had to do like uh, an art work with the kids, you know. In Turkey, you just say it's can lick. So that's what I show. I'm going to show you guys later. So it took forever. Like it just took forever. Some kids just decided to be deliberately to be slow. So that's if you know when your village people sent them just to come and try and attempt to frustrate you today. But their plan will not work. Well, anyway, so <laughs> I finished one hour later and now I'm on my way home. So I'm tired. I'm hungry. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>